Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Cool. Uh, anyways guys, uh, today we're going to talk about some pre-code, some pre-code stuff. I, I'm, I'm doing kind of a small series on pre-code also, uh, but this is also like movies I love to watch at the same time. Um, so I went back on the shelf and got some movies together uh, to kind of salute a director. Um, after, after seeing this one movie, I've really fallen in love with this movie. I've seen it like this year like five times, you know. I don't know why, I just keep keep catching it and I end up watching it somehow. So um, I had a DVD of it and I, I gave it to my friend Mike uh, over at Gray 1951 Media channel uh I, I recently gave uh, sent him a big box of movies that i either upgraded or didn't want anymore or something like that but anyways the, um I, I was getting i was ordering the blu-ray of it because it's a it's just a stunning they did a stunning restoration on it it's just beautiful and everything so it's like i'm, I'm gonna get the i'm gonna get the d the blu-ray now so i gave mike the dvd uh, of this movie, but I wanted to talk about William Wellman, uh, Wild Bill, as he's known. Um, he did some killer movies throughout his career, uh, but in the early 30s, um, he did a lot of like pre code movies now that we, you know, would call pre code now before 1934. Um, and stuff, and he did some really good stuff. And I wasn't, you know, at first I watched this movie like two times and didn't realize that William Wellman directed it. Uh, but anyways, the movie I'm talking about is Safe in Hell. Um, I've shown the DVD before, and I, I gave that to Mike. Uh, so now I got the Blu-ray of it. This this just recently came out within the month, uh, or like two months ago, or something like this. But. Uh, it's a Warner Archive Blu-ray release. Uh, it's got the great Dorothy uh, McCall uh, and equally good Donald Cook. Uh, Donald Cook, I mean, I think I first saw him on um, in The Public Enemy, uh, 1931 with James Cagney. Uh, I, think that's, I think that's the first time I saw that. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. I got... Uh, dogs when they hear the mailman or anybody they just they go completely bonkers it was the mailman and everything so back to what i was talking about yeah safe in hell uh donald cook um uh, public enemy uh he was in there he was like the good brother uh, but he was in a ton of stuff i mean i'm starting to real i'm starting to see him more in these movies and i didn't realize you know he was in there but he did a lot of movies and he's he's kind of very underrated uh, now, I mean, maybe his acting style it kind of just suits that time, that time frame, you know. Uh, but um, I'm not really sure what happened to him like after the 30s. So, anyways, really, you know, he's really good. Dorothy Mac, Mac, what is it? Yeah, Macel, 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 Macel. Uh, excellent, really good, really good performance. Uh, this is just great. I mean, she. Uh, she thinks she's murdered this guy, so she's she goes to this island where there's no jurisdiction. So even if she were a mass murderer, they couldn't come there and get you and put you on trial. So she's hiding out at this seedy hotel with these even seedier guys that live there and stuff. And I, I just don't even want to go into it. You, you got to discover the movie on your own. So safe in hell, really good. Next up, I can't talk about uh, Wild Bill Wellman without talking about this movie this won the first oscar i believe yeah it's the very first best picture 1927's wings and this is a really good release from paramount i mean it, you, you would think it's a standard you know no frills release uh but no it, it looks really good uh it's got a great picture to it it's got a bunch of like doc it's got like three three documentaries on here about the movie and it's you know pretty good i mean it's you know there's got interviews and i don't even think they show everything on here but anyways this is from 1927 it won the first best picture um it's got charles buddy rogers is in it he's one of the pilots uh richard arlen and uh, gary cooper they're they're all like um 
you know, pilots during World War One, and then you got uh, Miss Clara Bow, which you know she was the it girl back then at Paramount. She pretty much was one of the rulers of Paramount Pictures. I would say she she was the queen at Paramount during that time period and, until Marlena Dietrich came along. I think now th that that's my own hot take, guys, fresh off the presses. But I, I think by the time she faded a little bit, you had Marlena Dietrich come there to Paramount and really, you know, rest is history. But Wings is very, very good. The flight scenes are just awesome. The dog fights and everything. And it's got this, like, storyline of love and different things. But, man, it's really good. It's got some great cinematography in it. I'm trying to think of who, who the cinematographer was. It doesn't say this one they don't really put much on there but it, it's a great release it's a great movie it's a silent movie now guys but uh, I think you'll enjoy it it's a color it's got some color tenant stuff throughout the movie it's kind of got like a sepia tone I believe uh, but man great movie uh, this really put Wild Bill Wellman on the map wings, wings. next up this is a documentary about William uh, Wild Bill Wellman um, and I didn't realize but I had this already on another I, I think it's on this next release I'm going to show you as one of the special features but um, it's cool I didn't pay much for this so I, anyways but I got it recently uh, this is a documentary called Wild Bill Hollywood Maverick uh, the life and times of William A. Wellman and uh, he was quite a character. I mean, he was a real-life pilot. Um, he, he's one of those guys in the 30s that were just, you know, cut out of stone or something. You know, you got John Ford. You know, real tough guy directors and stuff. And he, he did a lot of cool stuff. Um, but, yeah, this is an older Kino release. And it's got... Um, I mean, it's narrated by Alec Baldwin. This came out in 1996. I didn't realize it was that old. Uh, but they pretty much go over um, 76 films, uh, 35 years worth of movies. Uh, I think his, his daughter might be on here. She, she's done a whole lot of, uh, you know, being his voice and stuff, like doing film festivals and you know, interviews and stuff. It's usually his daughter really does a lot of good stuff. So anyways, Wild Bill, Hollywood Maverick. Now you can get it that way, guys. Or you can get it this way. This is a Forbidden Hollywood Collection, uh, Volume 3. And um, it's got six movies on here, and every one of them are directed by William Wellman. Uh, I want to say these are, they're, I don't know if they're Vitaphone. Vitaphone, which would become Warner Brothers, which, you know, they would absorb into Warner Brothers. Um but anyways, uh, this is a great release. Um, and, you know, I've, I've talked a little bit about the Forbidden Hollywood series, and um, I got this off the shelf. I, I did one way, 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 way back when I first started making videos for YouTube. It's probably number four or five or something like that, uh, and, and I show them all off. But th this one I just went particular because it's all William Wellman movies, and there's a couple of movies in particular that I wanted to see and um, this kind of falls into the you know pre-code stuff too uh, there's a movie called um, Heroes for Sale which is about a uh, a returning World War I soldier uh, coming back and trying to adjust to life on the home front uh, before he left Europe he had a uh, injury I think he was shot or something really bad and uh, they they gave him like morphine or something like that so he ends up getting getting hooked on morphine and he's coming back you know, home and he's trying to work at this bank and he's trying to get he's trying to score morphine on his break he screws up money da, 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 da. he ends up taking it on the lamb basically just being a bum and and just it shows the whole you know his whole he does like a whole 360 in his life and changes and stuff it's very fascinating very very well made um I'm trying, what's the guy's name da, 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 what is his name uh richard barthamas uh who trans i think he uh transitioned from silent movies and everything but that's that's one and then the other one is called frisco jenny 
uh, which is, uh, man, it's just really good. It's got Ruth Chatterton. Chatterton. Yeah, Chatterton. She did a lot of, uh, a lot of movies in the 30s. A lot of them are pre-code movies. Um, but she's great in this as Jenny. Now, this takes place in San Francisco, uh, 1906, which we all know what happened in San Francisco in 1906. Um, but she's running this like, uh, kind of like a, kind of like a juke joint, you know, bar kind of thing. I think they got maybe, it might be prostitution going on. Um, well, anyways, you know, she, she falls in love with this guy. The father's against it. The night that she tells him that, hey, I'm going to marry this guy anyway and I'm leaving. All of a sudden, the earthquake happens. The 1906 earthquake in San Francisco. And uh, the special effects and the production design on th that scene where uh, the bar brothel, whatever it is, falls apart. Uh, wood falls down on the father, kills the father. Uh, but just just showing the destruction of all that was really good. It was way ahead of its time, and uh, I want to say I want to say it was 19, 1933, 32 or thirty three is when it came out. But yeah, Frisco Jenny really good. I mean, she turns into this like. Uh, I guess a madam or something or she she becomes very wealthy and as a high class madam or you know something like that but anyways really good movie i can't stress it enough check that one out um but yeah on here there's all these are really good wild wild boys of the road gets talked about a lot in his career that's a good one uh midnight mary another uh risque movie then you got the purchase price and other men's women. They're all good. They're all great pre pre code, but 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 in particular, I was thinking about Heroes for Sale and Frisco Jenny on here uh, to talk about. So Forbidden Hollywood set volume three, which um, highly recommend that guys. Really good stuff. Check out uh, William Wellman's career. I mean, he's God. He did a lot of good stuff. And then in the 40s, you know, he would do movies like The Oxbow Incident and stuff like that. And I, I think he kind of died young. He, I don't think he made it into the 50s or 60s or something like that. Uh, he kind of just kind of fades off. I think, I think he got sick or cancer. Something happened. Anyways, uh, but in that time period, he made a lot of great movies and stuff. He was just a, a real character. You know, he was just a real one of a kind person you know so check that check his check his career out really check that out get those movies that i showed you those are all great entertaining um so in the comments let me know what you think about william a wellman or also known as wild bill uh don't forget to subscribe and like this episode and uh i'll talk to you next time guys and uh take it easy